So guys, we started a new tandem burnout class and it's going pretty well. It's pretty sketchy, but I think it's worth keeping around. If you guys are wondering when our next Cleason Cars burnout contest is, it's May 6th at Indianapolis Raceway Park. And on May 7th, we have the Indy 800 Crown Vic Race presented by Heatwave Visual. So I'll put a link to the tickets below and come out to Indy in about three weeks and you can see tandem burnouts for yourself. One big synchronized hell yeah brother, all right? One, two, three. Let's hear it for neighbor and all the burnouts this engine's done. Might as well take that good battery we just put in and out. <laughs> so uh, is it rafter time or coyote time? I was on through all of my hair, like just rods bending. You're done, bud. Hey, hey say the service. line. Years of hey, say the line, job. not yeah. ideal. Burned up junk. It was uh, well past the liability line, you know yeah. what I mean? No, so, like, when we had it refreshed, the dude's like, Nothing's round in this corner, but here it is. <laughs> Coyote time. I'm sure our boy Ed was up there watching and said, damn kids. <laughs> it's all right, Ed, we'll get it back up and running for you. Garza, you got this, dude? You're not gonna crash, right? I don't know. I think you got him. <laughs> hey, you got me, brother. I got this. You got this? Yeah. You brought the wall for me. Then we got Zach pulling up and George's truck, Rodney. Get her up in the RPM. There we go. What a unit.
your topper. It's gone. I knew, I knew that topper didn't have long to last. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put it in the wall a couple times so you don't have to fly off. <laughs> Let's hear it for Jack Stan, Jimmy. Oh, he's backing up.
Dude, he's getting too good at catching this thing on fire. Yeah, I think that thing just blew up, unfortunately. I think it was the pop. Man, talk about some abuse. The guy wall taps the fire truck. I, I mean, had to make a name and I had to try and beat this guy. Uh, did you see his run? He threw the whole topper off the truck. I couldn't beat it. So next time that strap's coming off the back, I already got yeah. it if uh, anybody's got one of these tailgates. It's going into the wall. Let's take a gander. Did you get any marks on this thing? Dude. Didn't even push the, the bumper truck, over. Did all it did was that. So you literally hit the fire truck on the tire. This was Got the wheel a little bit. This was a little less cracked. A little bit less, not much. Oh, you did hit that, huh? Oh, I guess probably from the side yeah, impact. Yeah, it had all the cracks, but now there's a gap. <laughs> uh, and then just that, you know? That's not bad. You kept her off the wall, you know? Yeah, I had to give a little wall tap for the people, too. A lot know? more than Jack Stan can say for his vehicle. Let's take <laughs> yeah. a gander at your truck here, James. Looking real rough. Where's your topper? I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. He's Lost in, track of it? or was in with it. Came out without it. Never seen it since. That's it looks uh, so goofy now. It looks weird. Like yeah, it's back uh, to being a pickup truck. We don't really need the topper anymore because we have a merch trailer, yeah. so that's good. We have that. So you really just crank the whole truck. If anyone knows of a long bed? I need one, dude. No, my put a short bed on it. We'll just we'll tack and pull. Uh, oh, we got a tack and pull now. There ain't no pull in that, but <laughs> let's talk about under the hood. You blew the thing up. Yeah. Sure Rods enough. have left the building. Multiple, Again, multiple things. Have and why did that happen? Because you just put this engine in last year. Well, this is uh, impressive, brother. That how'd your crank pulley go? Uh, Dude, and you blew is, the welds on your intake. Yeah, and then this is my crank pulley. This wow. was in here chilling. How so that I thing hard this, stop. This was like this. No, it cranks. It didn't hard stop. Oh, really? I don't know what happened. Good thing is the nice Dude, flight literally flight. exploded the intake. Blew yeah. the welds on your intake. Was there a danger to manifold? No, Simple because on the soft dash. computers don't tell you that. Yeah, so that's the issue is this truck has gone a long time with a stock GM computer. And it started having some issues and it may or may not have caused the engine to blow up. We need to put a holly on it and go I'm from there. Got wiring. something coming. It's oh, do you? Perfect. Yeah. The belt, when the belt comes off, it whacks the pipe, as you can see, it's gone. Yeah. And unplugs the air intake temp sensor, and which then everything puts goes it in a fault mode. And then the only way to keep it running through that is spray through it. <laughs> but I think More like, nitrous. Yeah, it was uh, less than ideal. That's a bad deal, dude. Your uh, your intake's toast. Dude, there. you blew the gauge out of here. Yeah, I mean, it, it, there was a lot of fireballs. <laughs> I mean, if you go and look underneath, half the oil pan's gone. As you guys can see right there, that's a rod cap. Just like it's done, dude. Showing uh, there's an oil pan gone. Damn, you really need a... You really need to stop blowing up your burnout cars, man. You went like two and a half years without blowing anything up. Now you're just destroying everything. At what cost do we At what cost these? can you win these burnout contests, James? Not to mention, Garza crashed the hell out of the Miata. Oh, I yeah. mean, so dude, all willingly, dude. He literally crashed. had yeah. the drain on the radiator open. So any water that we kept putting in there was dumping right out. So Rodney, is he okay? Did it was Rodney survive? going in the pad. That's why it locked up and shut off. But it started right back up. So we'll get okay. some water in there and get so, her blood. All in all, guys, our burnout cars are in really bad shape. And we got to get them fixed for Cletus and Cars Indy, which is, you know, just three weeks away. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we got to show out in Indy. Oh, I can't wait. Luckily, Toast is good. And we think we have Killer Bee fixed. So we'll be, we'll be in good shape. Yeah, this thing here. Be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> day before, I'll be doing a motor swap. Yeah. Holly conversion. Day before. It'll got be a V2 coming for the intake. That is crazy. It's going to be a little bit different. That sucker is done for.